What is going on guys and today I have two thermostates from E70 which is the N52 engine actually one of them is OEM the second one is aftermarket which is came with the Chinese uh, water pump which is like, by the way I was replacing for the Chinese thermostat but about that in different video you can check the link in the description below or here in the cards but with that being said I'm gonna be rebuilding and testing uh, those two thermostates actually we're gonna be building one from two and we're gonna be testing both of them I'll show you how to test them and what you should expect from that also worth to mention I already fixed the car and this is just the one of the steps I've been going through to fixing it obviously the problem was as simple as auxiliary fan relay and if you want to check this video it's gonna be in description below otherwise let's get to the job okay and this is gonna be pretty simple steps basically as easy as add one plus one the thermostat or the unit have only two outputs which is the negative and a positive terminals the connection point goes straight to the heating element which is basically warms up and by some type of compound the other side it's going to just expand uh, and opens up there are also stage two as working as in every single car pretty much from the temperature which is 90 degrees celsius and it's going to open it up obviously these thermostates are really reliable because they have two stages one is actuated by electronics and a second one actuated by uh, the temperature which is pretty cool only one downside if the electronic one gonna fail you're gonna have the check engine message and that's gonna be related to the thermostat or the water pump overall so this is kind of the downside but after all the thermostat on those cars not as weak as you guys think even if you have the uh, check engine light for the thermostat doesn't mean your thermostat does not work most likely the water pump is not working compared to the thermostat so getting back how to test it out Basically, we have two outputs, positive and a negative. You're getting the 12 volt battery. Better if you get one from the car, or as I'm using the jump starter kit, uh, which is obviously have 12 volts, and it's capable for the same type of voltage as the regular car battery. Connect the two wires to the thermostat safely and connect two other sides to the negative and a positive terminal and wait approximately 20 to 30 seconds and the thermostat is supposed to expand. As you can see, the brand new one or non-OEM one expand in 20 seconds, probably less than that. But we get into the second example and this is the OEM it's struggling a lot it just expand literally just a touch and it's basically uh, failing every time I try to connect it or try to do something with it so yeah in that case uh, I'm using the bottom portion of the non OEM thermostat for my needs the top portion I'm using from the OEM one because it has a little different uh, the output for the coolant lines and I'm taking the actual thermostat with the VAX core uh, and installing into the the new ones and the o-rings anyway guys this is it for that video but if you like it or you find that video helpful just please put the thumbs up button there subscribe my channel and leave me comment below i'll see you in the next one